You're in a European country where rent is just $200 a month. The cost of living is a quarter of what it is in the United States, and the quality of life rivals some of the most beautiful destinations on the continent. The country offers endless green forests, crystal clear lakes, and a lifestyle where even public transportation is free and driving a dirty car is illegal. But there's more to it than meets the eye. Join us as we explore the secrets of this underrated paradise and why so many people are choosing it as their next home. What comes to mind when you think of Belarus? Perhaps nothing. Or maybe you recall a country often overshadowed by its political history and economic challenges. Imagine a life where rent does not dominate your budget. In Minsk, the capital of Belarus, a one-bedroom apartment can be found for only $300 to $400 a month. Groceries, public transportation, utilities all are affordable, within reach for those who want to stretch their budget further than they ever thought possible. But Belarus isn't just cheap. It's a place where essentials like healthcare, transportation, and a comfortable lifestyle are accessible and reasonably priced. Here, a quiet, modest life is not only achievable but warmly welcomed. Not only that, Belarus is a country with rich traditions and strong community ties. At first glance, the people here may seem reserved, but behind that quiet exterior, Belarusians are known for their warmth and hospitality. Locals often go out of their way to make visitors feel at home, sharing meals or introducing them to the rich culture that is characteristic of Belarus. And then there's the natural beauty. Belarus, with its vast forests, serene lakes, and rich biodiversity, is often called the lungs of Europe. Unlike crowded, commercialized tourist spots, Belarusian landscapes remain largely untouched. You might find yourself kayaking along the Pripyat River, hiking through the tranquility of the Bialoi as a forest, or watching the sunrise over a misty lake. So, what is Belarus, really? Come along with me and let's explore. Belarus might not be the first place you think of when it comes to affordable living in Europe, but it could be one of the most surprising. For those seeking a comfortable, budget-friendly lifestyle, this country is truly a hidden gem. But what does affordable really mean in Belarus? Let's break down the cost of living housing food, transportation to get a complete picture of life in this lesser-known corner of Eastern Europe. Let's start with housing. In Belarus, rental prices are surprisingly low compared to other areas in Europe or North America. In Minsk, the capital, a one-bedroom apartment in the city center usually costs between $300 and $500 a month. If you're looking to save even more, you can find similar apartments in the suburbs for as little as $200. This is a stark contrast when compared to rental prices in cities like New York or San Francisco, where a similar option might cost between $2,500 and $3,500. And what about utilities? In Belarus, essentials like electricity, heating, and water typically range from $50 to $100 per month, depending on the season. Even during the cold Belarusian winters, heating costs remain manageable keeping residents cozy without the high energy bills often seen in colder climates. Next, let's talk about food. Belarus not only offers affordable grocery prices but also fresh, local produce that makes meal preparation easy and enjoyable. With around $150 to $200 per month, you can cover basic needs fresh vegetables, fruits, dairy, and more. Imagine strolling through a bustling Belarusian market. The aroma of freshly baked bread fills the air, and farmers line the stalls with products straight from the countryside. Here, a loaf of bread costs about 40 cents, while a liter of milk is only around 80 cents. And if you're looking to dine out, Belarusian cafes and restaurants are extremely budget-friendly. A small meal costs around $5 to $10, and if you're willing to splurge a little, you can enjoy a three-course meal for two at a mid-range restaurant for just $30 to $40. Compare this to the high prices in London or Paris, where a night out can easily cost three times that amount. For many people, transportation is a significant expense, but in Belarus, getting around is both easy and affordable. A monthly public transportation pass, which includes buses, trams, and the metro, costs only about $15 to $20. 
And for shorter trips within the city, taxis are a convenient option, with fares around $3 to $5 per ride. If you prefer driving, gas prices average about $3.50, making it affordable even for those who want the freedom of having their own car. Did you know, living well in Belarus is about more than just the essentials? It's about enjoying life. Entertainment, fitness, and other recreational activities are all accessible and budget-friendly. A movie ticket costs around $5, and a gym membership ranges from $20 to $40 per month. And if you want to stay connected? Internet and mobile plans are also very affordable, with unlimited internet costing around $10 to $15 per month. Staying connected with family and friends has never been easier. Adding up all these costs, you can see that for most people, the monthly cost to live comfortably in Belarus ranges from $600 to $1,100. This is roughly a quarter of the average cost of living in the United States or Western Europe. From affordable rent to food, transportation, and inexpensive leisure activities, Belarus offers a quality of life that is both accessible and meaningful. Here, you can live well without the financial strain of life in larger cities. But what about healthcare? Can you get quality care at these low costs? And how accessible is it for foreigners? If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any updates on unique and affordable destinations around the world. Belarus offers universal healthcare through a government funded system meaning that most medical services from regular checkups to complex surgeries are free of charge for citizens. But it's not just Belarusians who benefit. Belarus has opened its doors to foreign residents and visitors, offering comprehensive and accessible healthcare options. Each year, approximately 200,000 foreigners come to Belarus to take advantage of affordable or even free healthcare services. The government promotes Belarus as a medical tourism destination, attracting people from nearby European countries. This system covers everything from preventive care to advanced surgeries, a compelling offer for those seeking high-quality treatment without excessive costs. So, how does this work for visitors or new residents? First, if you come to Belarus, you will need to purchase local health insurance upon arrival. Insurance from other countries usually doesn't apply but local policies are very affordable and cover unexpected medical expenses, providing peace of mind. For routine or general medical needs, public health care services are widely available. However, private hospitals are also an option. While these facilities are not free, they offer affordable rates for those who might want a bit more privacy or quicker service. Even so, costs remain significantly lower than in Western countries, and for many, paying out of pocket for private care is an affordable choice. One aspect of healthcare in Belarus that may surprise foreigners is the cultural practice of showing appreciation to healthcare providers. Rather than tipping, it is customary to give small gifts as a gesture of thanks, like a fine bottle of cognac or a box of chocolates, especially after receiving attentive care. This personal touch reflects the closeness and respect in Belarusian culture. This type of cultural exchange often brings warmth and familiarity to medical visits, turning healthcare interactions into moments of mutual respect. For anyone considering a longer stay or even retirement in Belarus, the accessibility of healthcare can make a meaningful difference. Essential treatments, regular checkups, and emergency care are all within reach and within budget. This not only provides peace of mind but also supports a truly affordable lifestyle without sacrificing quality of care. In Belarus, healthcare is not a privilege, it is a part of a system designed to ensure that everyone can access the care they need when they need it. We've covered the affordable lifestyle and healthcare in Belarus, but there's another topic that catches many people's interest Belarusian women and the unique dating landscape here. What makes dating in Belarus special? And what should foreigners know about relationships in this traditional yet welcoming culture? When people talk about Belarus, one topic often comes up the grace and charm of Belarusian women. Known for their Eastern European features, these women embody a blend of high cheekbones, striking eyes, and naturally fair skin. But beyond beauty, there's much more to the story. Belarusian women are also known for their kindness, intelligence, 
and openness toward foreigners a unique aspect of Belarusian culture. Belarusian women are often praised for their appearance, yes, but their appeal goes beyond the physical. Many are highly educated and knowledgeable about global issues, thanks to Belarus's strong emphasis on education. You'll find them interested in subjects ranging from literature to sports, with a strong representation in fields like gymnastics and tennis. For example, Victoria Azarenka, a former world number one in tennis, is a proud Belarusian and one of the country's most celebrated female athletes. In Belarus, women also play important roles in the workforce and society, creating a social dynamic that promotes independence and adaptability. Dating in Belarus offers a unique experience. Belarusian women, though they hold traditional values, are also open and welcoming to foreign visitors. It's common to meet women who are curious about the world beyond their borders and eager to share their own culture. They may even invite you for tea or offer to show you around the city a natural expression of the country's famed hospitality. But dating here also comes with its own cultural expectations. Belarusian women often value sincerity and respect, and relationships are taken seriously. For foreigners, this means that forming a relationship in Belarus isn't just about casual dating. Belarusian women value authenticity and genuine interest in their lives, culture, and values. For those willing to approach things with respect, dating in Belarus can be an incredibly rewarding experience filled with genuine connections and opportunities to truly learn about a different culture. While dating is full of possibilities, it's essential to approach it with understanding and an open mind. For instance, marriage can present certain challenges for foreigners. Belarusian laws on marriage with foreigners can be complex, and the process requires patience and respect for local traditions. Additionally, there are cultural nuances in Belarusian relationships, where thoughtful gestures such as gifting chocolates or a small item to show appreciation reflect an old-world charm that some foreigners may find refreshing. Understanding these subtleties not only enriches the experience but also helps you engage meaningfully with the local culture. However, in Belarus, connection goes beyond dating this as a place where tradition, community bonds, and a strong sense of togetherness shape daily life. In Belarus, Community is not just a concept, it's a way of life. From bustling city markets to quiet village gatherings, Belarusian culture is deeply rooted in tradition, connection, and a love for celebration. For those who value authentic experiences, this is a place where you feel the heartbeat of Eastern Europe, where age-old customs blend with the simplicity of everyday life. Belarus comes alive through its festivals, each one a celebration of history, music, and unity. One of the largest and most beloved events is the Slaviansky Bazaar in Vitebetsk, an international arts festival that draws performers from around the world. Here, the streets fill with live performances, art exhibitions, and bustling markets. The sounds of music and laughter echo through Vitebetsk, offering visitors a rare glimpse into the cultural pride that shapes Belarus. For those interested in modern culture, there's the Mira Music Festival. Here, Electronic music and synth pop create a vibrant, contemporary atmosphere, showcasing the creative side of Belarusian culture. It's an event where young Belarusian artists connect with international influences, celebrating creativity and the country's evolving music scene. What's special about Belarusian festivals is that they are not just for entertainment, they're also a celebration of nature and tradition. One such festival is Maslanitsa a celebration marking the end of winter and the arrival of spring. Locals gather to enjoy pancake feasts, sledding, and folk performances. The air is filled with the warm scent of pancakes, children's laughter, and the excitement of welcoming warmer days. Then there is Ivan Kupala Night, an ancient midsummer festival full of rituals and a bit of mystery. People gather by the riverside, floating flower wreaths on the water a tradition believed to predict one's romantic future. It's a magical night, with bonfires lighting up the countryside as people sing, dance, and even leap over the flames, believing it brings good luck. An interesting aspect of Belarus is that people deeply value connection. Whether in a quiet rural village or a city cafe, there is a sense of closeness in daily life. Locals often invite visitors for tea, 
eager to share stories about their lives and traditions. Hospitality here is not just a gesture, it's a part of the Belarusian identity. Many foreigners describe Belarusian hospitality as one of the most welcoming qualities of the country. You are not merely a guest, you are embraced by the community. Locals take pride in their heritage and love to show outsiders the richness of their culture from local crafts and foods to family traditions passed down through generations. Belarus is a peaceful country where you can immerse yourself in nature. It's no wonder that Belarus is often called the lungs of Europe, with 36% of the country's land covered by forest. Lush greenery stretches even into the cities, bringing fresh air and tranquility, even in urban areas like Minsk, Although Belarus is landlocked, it proudly boasts more than 11,000 shimmering lakes scattered across its landscape, offering endless opportunities for exploration and solitude. The largest lake, Lake Narak, is a pristine freshwater gem surrounded by lush forests. In summer, you can kayak through its crystal clear waters, fish for pike and perch, or hike along the beautiful winding trails by the lakeside. When winter arrives, these lakes transform into hubs for ice fishing, cross-country skiing, and the serene beauty of frozen landscapes. Belarus's lakes offer a haven for those seeking peace in nature, while also inviting adventure, offering something unique in every season. Belarus is also home to one of Europe's largest and last remaining ancient forests, the Bialoieza Forest. Spanning 550 square miles, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is a living testament to what Europe's forests once were. Walking through Bialoieza feels like stepping back in time. Towering trees create a natural cathedral, with sunlight streaming through dense foliage, casting an almost sacred atmosphere. This forest is also home to some of Europe's rarest animals, including the European bison, or wisent, the continent's largest land mammal. Weighing up to 1,000 kilograms and standing around 6 feet tall, these majestic creatures are symbols of strength and resilience. Once on the brink of extinction, the Bialoieza forest is now home to around 800 bison, along with wolves, lynxes, moose, and hundreds of bird species a paradise for wildlife enthusiasts and photographers. Bialoieza is more than a forest, it's a glimpse into a wilder, more pristine Europe, a place where nature is allowed to thrive. Beyond the forests and lakes, Belarus is dotted with historical landmarks that beautifully blend with the surrounding natural environment. Take, for instance, the Mir Castle Complex, a UNESCO World Heritage Site beside a tranquil lake. This Gothic and Baroque fortress stands as a reminder of Belarus's layered history. Visitors can stroll through its halls, explore the surrounding gardens, or take a peaceful boat ride on the lake. It's a perfect mix of grandeur and serenity. serenity. Additionally, Belarus boasts famous attractions that draw international visitors. Minsk, the capital, is celebrated as one of the cleanest cities in the world. Parks and green spaces are woven into the city's urban fabric, creating a peaceful retreat from the city's pace. Imagine strolling through the old town, exploring cobbled streets, and stopping at a local cafe to enjoy traditional Belarusian pastries. Here, nature and culture blend effortlessly offering residents and visitors a taste of tranquility. The stunning landscapes and outdoor adventures make Belarus a dream for nature lovers. But what if you want to stay longer to truly immerse yourself in this lifestyle? For many people, the dream of experiencing life abroad often fades when faced with the complexities of visas, regulations, and the overall cost of long-term stays. But in Belarus, the story is different. Here, the path to a long-term stay is refreshingly straightforward, making it a feasible option for anyone wanting to enjoy this unique lifestyle beyond a short visit. Belarus offers several visa options for foreigners seeking a longer stay. Tourists can enter Belarus an unlimited number of times, but are limited to a maximum stay of 90 days within a calendar year. For those who need more time, a long-term visa, or Type D visa, allows stays exceeding 90 days and up to five years, covering purposes such as business, study, work, and permanent residency. This flexibility is what makes Belarus a practical destination for those who want to experience life here without the complex visa processes required in many other countries. 
living in Belarus as a foreigner feels like stepping into a world where simplicity, self-sufficiency, and community define daily life. For those who come here, especially retirees seeking a peaceful, affordable place to settle, Belarus offers not just a low cost of living but an experience rooted in unique traditions and an appreciation for life's essentials. Take Mark, an American retiree who moved to Belarus. Mark found not only a new home but a lifestyle that surprised and inspired him in ways he hadn't expected. Mark settled in a small town outside Minsk, where he quickly noticed something unique about his Belarusian neighbors they grow nearly everything they eat. From potatoes and carrots to onions and cabbage, Belarusians are masters of self-sufficiency. In their gardens, they cultivate the produce they need for the year, purchasing only essentials like salt or cooking oil from stores. It's incredible, Mark says. I've never seen people live so fully on their own land. Watching his neighbor's harvests inspired Mark to plant a small vegetable garden of his own. He says it's been one of the most rewarding parts of his life in Belarus, connecting him to nature and to the people around him in a way he had never experienced before. One of the things that surprised Mark the most was the cars. Many are relics from the Soviet era, like Ladas and Volgas, maintained through resourcefulness and pride. These cars are often decades old but meticulously cared for, a testament to Belarusian ingenuity. Mark recalls his first taxi ride in 1980 Lada driven by a man who knew every shortcut in town. It was older than my car back in the United States, but it ran so smoothly, and the driver proudly told me he had kept it going for more than 30 years. In Belarus, it's not uncommon to see cars like these on the road, polished, well-maintained, and sometimes even treated like family members. And here's something that might surprise you driving a dirty car is illegal in Belarus. Cleanliness is part of road etiquette, and fines for dirty cars ensure that every vehicle on Belarusian streets shines. One of Mark's favorite aspects of life in Belarus is a benefit most seniors in the United States can only dream of free public transportation. In Belarus, seniors age 60 and older can ride city buses and trams for free, allowing them to get around independently without worrying about cost. Mark says this small gesture makes a big difference, especially for retirees on a tight budget. And it's not only seniors who benefit. Belarusians take pride in their roads, which they say rival the quality of German highways. Roads in Belarus are smooth, well-maintained, and designed for safe travel, reflecting the country's commitment to efficient infrastructure. Belarus may not be a place where people live lavishly, but frugality does not mean sacrifice. Living on a modest budget, Mark finds himself appreciating the joy Belarusians take in simple things. With an average monthly budget of around $400 to $600, he lives comfortably cooking with fresh, homegrown produce, attending local events, and connecting with his community. In Belarus, people value what they have. For instance, they prioritize repairing over replacing, and a portion of household income often goes toward charitable causes. As Mark describes, people live with purpose here, and it's contagious. They're careful with their money but they're also incredibly generous. It's taught me to see value in things I once overlooked. Surprisingly, while Belarus might feel far removed from Silicon Valley, it is becoming a tech hub in Eastern Europe. From tech startups to giants in the gaming industry, the capital, Minsk, is establishing itself as a leader in software development. Companies like Wargaming, creator of World of Tanks, originated here, putting Belarus on the tech world map. In fact, the national airline even decorates some of its planes with the Wargaming logo as a point of pride. And it's not just gaming. Viber, a popular messaging app used worldwide, was developed here before being acquired by Japan's Rakuten for nearly $1 billion. For Mark, the contrast between the traditional, self-sufficient lifestyle and the modern tech innovation in Minsk is fascinating to experience. Mark's retirement journey in Belarus has been one of simplicity, community, and discovery. In a country where people still cherish old ways yet embrace new innovations, Mark found not just a place to live but a new way to appreciate life. From tending a small garden to experiencing the energy of a growing tech sector, life in Belarus has redefined what retirement means for him, and this might just inspire others to see life in a new way as well. 
If you found today's video interesting, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Your support is very important to us. Be sure to check out the next video appearing on your screen. You're sure to love the content we bring. Please leave a comment about which country you'd like us to explore next. Thank you for watching and see you in the latest video. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.